Hi guys, Steve Blankard here. Hey, I want to talk a little bit about the Ford powerhouse generator used on Model A Fords from the beginning in late 27 uh, up through sometime in 29. Uh, these generators came both in three brush and five brush versions, the five brush being the earlier type. But today I want to talk about adjusting the third brush, which is really um, one of the important things that a lot of people don't understand how to do. Uh, so let's, let's, let's look at the parts here. Um, the third brush, or known as, or as the adjustable brush, is this narrow brush here. You've got the ground brush over on this side and your power output brush here that goes up to the cutout. Now, the third brush is adjustable, and this is, controls the amperage output of the generator. Now, these generators rotate clockwise when looking at the pulley. So when looking from the front of the car here, it's going to rotate like this. So to adjust the output of the generator, you need to loosen this screw slightly and then slide the third brush assembly in this slot. This Bakelite ring here uh, has a slot in it, and this brush holder assembly will slide over. And as you adjust it in the direction of rotation, uh, that increases the output. Um, so I want to show you how to do that. So it's simply, you have a screw right here. Now, the important thing to remember is these Bakelite rings are fragile. Bakelite's an early form of plastic, and uh, the weakest part of them is where the slot is cut in them. So there's less material, so it's kind of weak. So always put your finger behind the screw, behind, uh, supporting the back of the Bakelite, so you're not, when you're pressing in on that screw, you're not putting pressure on the Bakelite ring. And just loosen that screw maybe one turn is all you need. Now it's loose, and it's just that screw is just clamping it onto the Bakelite ring. Now you can slide this brush holder. See, now I've just adjusted in this direction, clockwise, uh, in the direction of rotation, to increase the output. And once you're done, once you have a position where you want it, start up the car, look at your ammeter, put your lights on. Uh, if you're, if you're going to run at high output, you want to make sure your ammeter is showing just a slight positive charge with whatever load you're running. So if you're cranking the output of the generator up, you're likely going to have your headlights on, but you still want to have just a slight positive charge. For most people, just normal daytime driving, you want this set at its lowest output. Because even at its lowest setting, these generators put out a lot of amperage. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 amps at 2,000 generator RPM. And that's a lot of current. That's really slamming the battery. You only need, you know, 4 or 5, five amps to normally just keep the battery charged for normal daytime driving. So even at its lowest setting, these do put out a lot of current. Um, so they do benefit a lot from an electronic voltage regulator. The EVR um, is available, and uh, that is a nice upgrade to control the output of it. But for normal use, what I suggest, again, is supporting the back of the ring, loosening that screw about one turn, and then sliding the brush holder up in this, this direction, which is going to reduce the output and give you the lower lowest output. So I'm going to move it there. And again, I'm just going to snug up the screw. And don't over-tighten it either. Just make it snug. That's all it needs. Now the brush holder is locked in that position, and it's going to put out you know, probably 8 to 10 amps in that position there. So uh, don't be afraid to adjust your generator. Uh, these need to be adjusted. You know, the, the, the Ford owner's manual told you to adjust it to, to meet the load, uh, and dealerships and the mechanics would adjust them for you also. Uh, but if you're just normally driving, uh, just normal daytime driving, or if you have LED lights, uh, which are great, uh, really, all you just have your output set to its lowest setting. Look at your ammeter, and you should have just uh, just a slight positive charge. But they're really good generators uh, that they're a bit misunderstood or just not a lot of information out there. So uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, but but do adjust your generator. A lot of people tend to have them uh, set too high and, and overcharge the battery, uh, and that that's that's not good for the system. So. Uh, Hope that you find this helpful. Uh, if you liked it, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.